Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is a freezing cold day outside. The schools are in but kids aren't going outside for recess. That's how cold it is in Canada. Like They're having indoor recess. They are having indoor recess. What wow, Sophie, I love house. your language. Your language is looking super good. I know, right? Like, for sure. Put the slime writing. away. My, okay, okay, I'll put it away. There, I put it away. Basically, uh, these guys think it's fidget mine toys. Slime. Guys, what? Mine is clay that you get from like store bought. Sassy. Girls think that fidget toys are meant for independent work. They're not. Put them away. All right, let's start again. Sophie's working on language or on writing. You're doing writing today. She's working on a writing uh, workbook. This is Gabby's. No, no, I'm not going to show them your work. I'm just going to show them the book. Uh, this is Gabby's writing a book that she's using right now. She's writing her own adventure stories. Um, yep. So it's from us for Girls are doing that, which is super good because it gets me enough time to do a little bit of chores. I got almost all the boxes put away. I have these two, they have to go downstairs. Still unpacking, still unpacking in this house. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys before we start this vlog, um, a couple of things. One, we hate school. We hate school. Yes, <laughs> except for writing because it's easy. No, what I wanted to tell you, was that, I don't know if you guys got to really see in yesterday's video, but we went to the barn and Gabby and I, we rode with Kaylee, meaning Gabby rode with Kaylee. Sophie went with Sam to help at the other house. And it was hard, you slip. What? You, I, we were slipping like crazy. Yeah, so Sam hired somebody to uh, do the driveway at that house because it's hard for him to do two driveways. Anyway, the guy came to shovel, like to plow the driveway and uh, he had a, a worker with him and the worker was shoveling and he tripped on the ice and he fell and smashed his head into the garage and cut his head open and got blood everywhere. Seriously? Had to go to the hospital, yeah. No. He, yeah, no, that really he happened. He met us. He met us. Yeah, you met him, right? Yeah, so anyway, um, when we got to the barn last night, you guys only got to see this much of it. But I swear, Stella was like, oh my god, they're here! And she ran to the gate closest to us. Not where the gate was, but she ran closest to where we were. She was practically doing the pee-pee dance in the field. Like, come on, get me out! And then her friend came along and she pushed her friend away and kicked up her heels and was like, you get away from my people. And then we ignored her and went to Storm's Field and she ran to from where we were way over here she ran to the fence way over there where we were and she was staring at us getting storm i'm like oh my gosh it was sad for me like and then sophie saw the video and what did you think sophie i should have went you should have well, went when we drove in the driveway still recognizes the truck uh, she does recognize she the truck she herself got so excited i know and she was like oh i better wait because they're not like down here yet yeah and it's like no, 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 no. some horses show things differently. No. Like she is so excited to see us. No. So when Storm sees the truck, quick, hi. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's probably how it does happen. But anyway, um, we are going there today, even though it's too cold to ride. And we're gonna take her out. We're gonna bring her in, give her a couple of teeny tiny treats. And we're going to groom her and then put her in her stall for the night. I feel like if we bring her in, when it's like supper time and and we're the ones to like give her her food and stuff it'll be like a big thing for her but yeah i felt so like i like i felt so guilty and so sick and and one thing you guys don't know about us is that gabby wants to ride stella all the time like she loves riding her and she likes helping to train her and get her used to everything yes ruby ruby's starting to get to know you guys like she's like whenever i start talking on the vlog she's like put me in it put me in it so good girl um but she will not ride stella until she rides storm because she will never ever leave storm out or make storm feel like she's abandoned him right plus, storm is better. plus she loves storm more do you guys see yeah which dog is missing i got this little basket um and brought it out because it came from the other house and i hadn't have anywhere to put it so i sat here on the couch and tucked my little toby in there toby you mean Sophia? Do you see his little eyeballs? Toby. Hi, handsome. And anyway, do you guys see which dog is missing? <laughs> One of these dogs is missing now. You know that song from Sesame Street? <laughs> not this one. She's like, it's not me, I'm not missing. 
It's Macy. She's all on her own. She's like Gabby. They're like, that's like Sophie and me. Hi, hi. Gabby. Guys. And Gabby. Come here, come here. I need to show them something. Why? Okay? Mom, you need to see this. Look at how good this. Oh yeah, come on. Raining chocolate almonds. <laughs> Bought 12 of them. 12 of them because we got to support our friends. It's true, uh, Kaylee's selling chocolates, so we bought them. We agreed with our instructor that we would support her and we split a box of them. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but throw them on the ground. We eat them. <laughs> yeah, we're not eating 12 boxes of chocolate. Oh, it's almost 12. I'll eat at 12. Sophie was so upset when she saw the video of Stella yesterday. So icy. Stella, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, baby. Careful, there's ice underneath this. Um, they put poop there. They put what? Poop. See? <laughs> Horse poop to save the day. If you fall now, you're in trouble. Poop. Like, I heard people talking about that it help. Yeah, it's shavings from their stall. Oh, and now today she doesn't care about us. Oh, well, she hears. But she's not coming. Oh, how sad. Yesterday she must have really wanted to come in. Oh, look how cute! But now we both see love in a different light. Keep the love alive. It's a tricky thing. You gotta let it fly. Gotta give it in wings. If you wanna make it right, no man can Don't hold on too tight. Now that we're setting up our own barn, I notice like a lot of the things that I love. Like I look at everything, I notice everything. I used to hate those big, huge, heavy doors because I can hardly even open them. They're so heavy. Now I appreciate them because it keeps the snow from coming in and it keeps from banging because it's so heavy. This brush right here, this broom, I love this thing. Like this thing is like a magic broom. We're the only ones here because we're the only ones crazy enough to come out. It's about to be a thunder. It's about to be a huge snowstorm. So we can't stay. We couldn't come later. We wanted to bring her in for the night. Hi, hey, pretty girl. No, we can't do it because it's going to be like a blizzard and nobody's going to be driving. Our lesson tomorrow is with race car drivers. So hopefully we can all get out of our driveway, driveways by then. Look, she's covered in snow and ice. She is covered in ice. I took off my gloves because I'm Just just pull her blanket up and brush her and then when you're done the back, push it back so we keep her warm. What? Just so leave it like that. It is cold in here. I don't want her to get cold, so because she's going back out in that freezing cold weather. I'm gonna give her a good brush. Okay, Stella? Shedding. Now that she's in there with two just her and another uh, mare. I worry that she's gonna get herd bound. I feel like the other horse is already getting a little herd bound. Did you miss her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she missed you too. We won't do that again. Yesterday, Sophie went with Sam and it was the first day we didn't bring Stella in with us. It was awful. Right? Oh, yeah. Everybody has a 
different opinion about why Stella's shedding and why horses shed. A lot of people say it has to do with the longer days, which is absolutely true. Stella is shedding ridiculously a lot. She's never stopped, even when the weather was just going into winter and the days were really short. I personally think that Stella's a fat horse and fat horses have a hard time getting rid of the heat. So a fat horse and a blanket, um, I think she's hot. I think she's... I think that it's because the weather keeps getting gets cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm. Yeah, other people think that. They think because our temperatures are going up and down and up and down, her poor little body doesn't know what to do. But Storm doesn't have any problems with that. I think it's because she's Not fat. Shedding. Okay, I think that it's because she's fat. And I think it is normal for horses to start to shed now because the days are starting to get longer. Yes, thank goodness. Um, but I think Stella's specific problem is that she is uh, uh, so fat. Isn't it so humbling that you can take like a jumping, kicking, bucking, rearing animal and bring it in, put it in cross ties, and it just stands there and lets you make it look pretty. Like that's so humbling and so amazing and that they let you climb on their back and then they let you, then they listen to you and they, she's like, what? I hear treats. She knows the sound of the bag. She's like, what is that? I feel like she's a little thinner today. I feel like you're a little thinner. <laughs> Got the side eye, just a couple treats, only a couple. That is too many treats, you have to only give her a couple. Operation Get This Girl Skinny is about to happen, Stella. Have you ever wanted something so badly and been on the verge of getting it and then it just seems like that last little bit takes forever. That's how I feel about bringing our horses home. It just seems like it is taking forever to get our stuff settled. That's ground tying? What does ground tying mean? You tie them up to the ground. <laughs> Oh, Stella's like, not, nah, no way, she said. She thinks she's going to her stall. Storm is, yeah, Storm is definitely very, she's scared of the lead rope. She's scared of the lead rope. Storm definitely pays attention and listens to, to instructions. All right, bye, Stormy Poo. Oh, that little girl is so, look at, so don't be mean. Think, Stella's her only friend in the whole world right now and Stella left her. She's sad. Bye Stormy Poo. He's saying, come to me. She doesn't want to go back in. It's okay, honey. Can you please hold the gate? Yeah. It's kind of hard. Lead you have to go. You have to go. There we go. So there's some dynamics happening here. Love that mare. Look at he does not want her to leave. He's no. like, Mama, come back. Mom still doesn't want me to leave. I know she didn't want to go in. So 
sometimes when you have a friend that's really like on you all the time, wants to play all the time, won't leave you alone, it can be overwhelming. Like when somebody's really needy, it can be harder than horses. I don't have any more treats. Look at her ears, right forward. She's like, my family. Hi. Your family is here. Should I see? <laughs> What'd she do? <laughs> She has a really nice owner, you guys. Like this horse, she has a, such a nice owner. All right, bye. Right, it's cold. We gotta go. Bye, love. We'll be back tomorrow, and you'll be ridden, okay? Yeah, like tomorrow. She's like ridden. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, bye, love. Mom, that horse. Just she just tried to open this gate. I heard it go. I heard it too. <gasps> she knows. She's it's, a smart one. It's Stella, look away. Look away, Stella. Aww. We are just at the dump, dumping out the rest of the stuff from our old house. It's just been a long struggle, you guys. Don't buy so much stuff. Like, when I go home, I need to get rid of half of the stuff that we have, because we just filled up our house. But anyway, I was just reading this comment from Dawn Deer 101, and she was really nice, and she said, not hating, but when Storm canters, it looks like he doesn't put much effort into it. Gabby needs to get him going, but when you're going over the jump, you don't need to. So yeah, and, and then I like messaged her back this big thing, even though her comment was so nice and so polite and exactly what I like on our channel. Um, I was saying like, yeah, on Sunday she did a spurless Sunday. So she didn't use spurs on him. And when she uses spurs, everybody complains and loses their mind. And Storm was trained on spurs, so. Those spurs are babies. <laughs> Like on big huge spurs so that's all he knows and when she doesn't use spurs what happened in yesterday's video happened because he well, because he he goes so slow so yeah like if she doesn't use the spurs he doesn't go fast he doesn't get the momentum he doesn't get over the jumps but if she uses spurs which he needs to get the momentum to get over the jumps everybody gets all upset with her and upset with her using spurs it's like a never win situation but that's one of the reasons why it's easier for me to listen to my trainer and like you guys give me a lot of advice a lot of really good uh, ideas and stuff to think about stuff to try and you teach me a lot but in some things i have to listen we have to listen to our trainer because there are just so many different opinions and when you're not there you really literally can't know what actually is going on so it's so it's hard but anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys could see how that kind of a situation could come up where even though you're giving us such good advice and you know it works for you and we should do it like her gabby um length shortening the reins and riding in contact it's so hard for you guys to know what's really happening behind the scenes and making those decisions so i just wanted to share that with you guys to hope that it helps you guys understand a little bit better Keep